welcome to this tutorial for FreeCAD. In this tutorial, I will show you how to construct uh, atomium. Uh, atomium is a building in Brussels uh, uh, from 1958, and uh, it is made of nine atoms, and uh, they are spheres with um, the size of 18 meters. And I will construct this, um, these spheres um, as nine millimeters of radius. So it's uh, <coughs> and okay. Let's have a look. Okay, um, I create one sphere at the beginning, and okay, let's start. Okay, there we have. The sphere. Ah, come on. I'm just talking here. Um, I have recorded this before with German language, so I don't know how long I will. Uh, it will take. Um, I do most of the thing is in part modus, and we will switch to part design modus. Um, not very often. So this is a sphere. It gets the size of nine millimeters, and uh, okay, diameter is eighteen millimeters. And now I create um, some copies of this sphere. But first, I will place this at x minus 20 millimeters and y minus 20 millimeters and z also minus 20 millimeters. Okay, now let's create some copies of this. We need eight of these spheres um, at first. So we create one copy and I change the x to plus 20 millimeters. Now create a copy of these two spheres and change the y uh, value to 20 for both copies. Now we have four spheres. We now copy the four spheres and change the z value to plus 20 millimeters. So these four copies and okay, 20 millimeters, 20 um, millimeters, and the last sphere also 20 millimeters for Z value. Now we have these um, eight spheres created. Now we need to connect them with um, a tube, and this tube is done with a cylinder. And I create two cylinders um, to get a symmetrically um, cylinder. Okay. Now let's create two. Cylinders, one and two, and the radius is 1.65 millimeters because the um, atomium um, tubes are 3.3 3, uh, meters um, as um, uh, diameter. Okay. And now I will change one of these um, uh, cylinders around the x axis, one zero zero, and an angle is uh, 180 degrees. Now I have the both uh, cylinders, and I change the length to 15 millimeters for both cylinders. Okay. And now I must rotate them or 
shift them to the correct positions. But before doing so, I will <coughs> um, create a fusion of these two cylinders. So let's select both and create the fusion. This is the command. And this fusion is now positioned to the correct place. So not the axis, no use the position. I type into the wrong parameter, nothing happens. It's the axis and not the position. Well, I am typing there. So, okay, change this back to zero and go to the position tab and create minus 20, minus 20 for X and Y. And now the uh, connection is on the correct place. Now, the same as for the uh, CS, I create copies of these fusions. So first one and change the X value to 20. Okay, looks good. Create a copy of these two fusions and change the Y value to 20. And now I have all four connections at the right places. Now I create a copy of the first fusion and I uh, disable the uh, four uh, fusions created um, so I only see the copy, and now I can rotate it to the right place. So, so the axis rotated by the y-axis, first one zero, and by 90 degrees. Okay, and now switch to the position, and it's x zero y minus 20, z minus 20, and it's at, it is at the correct place. <coughs> now we create copies, as we have seen before, and change the values from minus to plus. Create a copy of these two fusions, and there we are. And change the Z value to 20 for both copies. And now we have the next four fusions. Let's see all we have got until now. Now we create a copy of the first fusion and disable the, uh, um, the other fusions. And now we rotate this uh, by the x um, axis. Okay. Yeah. One zero zero and degrees ninety okay. and x y to zero. And set to minus 20. There we are. And now create the copies as before, as seen before. So now x to 20. Create a copy of these two fusions and change the z value to plus 20. It's not suck so hard so do it yeah okay at this to 20 and now we have all connections made and it looks good okay now the atomium has a sphere inside the middle of this um, this cube and it is Created now, I create a copy of the first sphere. Uh, 
and move this to x, y, and z0, so it is inside the middle. And this sphere is also connected to the other spheres, um, so I create a new uh, fusion. I copy one of these and change the parameters of the um, cylinders. So let's try create a copy. Okay, and now. Disable the other fusions, and there I have the new copy, copy fusion, and I change the length of the cylinder to uh, 30 millimeters. But first, I do something I do not understand now, but okay, the place is set to zero, 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 okay, and now change the length as set to 30 millimeters for the first and 30 millimeters for the second cylinder, okay. Now, these cylinders have to be rotated. So I rotate them around the x and y axis, and everything, everyone thinks it's 45 degrees, but that's not the value. Believe me, it is 55 degrees for x and y axis and so you see it's it connects the spheres. Now same as before, create a copy and now change the rotation. So rotate it by minus one one. Next one is there. Okay. Next copy just press, press Ctrl uh, V. Okay, there we are. And now to oh, what? No. What? It was no good idea to create a um, rotation by minus one, minus one leads to some um, heavy thinking what the last fusion will have to be, but oh, errors happen. Okay, this is the last copy. Now I am not sure what to do. I do some finding there. Um, I know one of these copy should be one uh, minus one one and the other one uh, one one okay one one is the one we have at fusion fourteen oh, have I got it no still not the correct things Now I disable the fusions. No good idea, but at last I did find the correct solution. This one, okay. Now look to fusion 14. What is it? How do you want to see what you're doing when you hide it? One minus one. Hmm. No, but okay. 
we have here three. Now the last fusion minus one minus one. And please unhide it. Okay, now we have all connections ready and could um, can now um, unhide the rest. And we have the complete uh, molecule uh, available. Okay, looks good. Now this um, thing has to be rotated um, as these um, connections. So first we create a fusion of all objects we have here. Select everything. Okay, now the first sphere, go to the bottom and select the last one with shift and now create a fusion of all objects. <coughs> this fusion, uh, now I create another thing, it is the um, form and I have a new object and don't work on the fusion. Um, perhaps I need it later, so I have created a copy of this. <coughs> okay, now this should be rotated by the same values as these um, connections, one, one, zero with 55 degrees. And it looks good. Okay. This is how the atomium has the molecule standing um, on the lower sphere. If the lower sphere below this, there is a um, an entrance building. And, but before we do this, I rotate this thing so these um, both um, spheres have the correct direction. So create a copy of this by doing a new form. Okay. And now rotate it by, let's say, 15 degrees. Should be correct. 50 degrees. Okay, looks good. Now we have this thing standing in the right direction, and I can construct the entrance building. It's another sphere, much bigger, 20 millimeters uh, radius, and it is located below this um, sphere. Okay, just do it. Click on the sphere. Why don't you click on the sphere? Okay, there it is, the next one, and it is has 20 millimeters radius, and now it should be um, positioned uh, much more, uh, much um, lower. So just click on the Z value. And now with the mouse wheel, you can um, shift it. Yes. Oh, no, no, it's, yeah, now, and you have, can um, think, is it correct or a little lower, a little upper, until it looks as you like it. OK. And now this building is not sphere, it, is, it must be um, cut it to the correct size. So I create 
a new drawing in part design modus in the XY um, area. Okay, the offset I can change this later. So first create a new drawing and add a rectangle there. Okay, but I am looking and looking, but I need to add something so I can see the drawing in this view. So go into the sketch again and create a rectangle as I said before. Okay, this is made symmetrical in the beginning, so symmetrical in x direction and c. Oh, I've forgotten to select the axis and symmetrical. Now <coughs> change the size, let's say to 50 millimeters, 50 in the x and 50 in the y direction. And okay, the drawing is perfect. So now this has to be lowered in the z axis can be done with mouse wheel. I'll go to my other view. And let's see what is the correct value. I can switch to the front view and see the drawing. This is the best. So it's well, that's a bit little lower, a bit lower. Hmm? Now, do it 55. Okay, yes, I create a pad. It is 20 millimeters in size. And now we create an um, intersection of these both values. But we have to switch to part mode again. And now I use the wrong thing. No, no not this one. This was wrong. So um, control Z and do it again. And now use the intersection. Now the entrance building is ready. OK. This um, Ethereum has um, three uh, stairways on the three spheres located directly um, over the first uh, sphere at the bottom. And to create this, I create an, um, a cube, and it gets another size. 30, 30, and one of these sizes must be much lower. And this one, okay. And we have a <coughs> small plane now here. And I will move this plane to one of the spheres, to this one, and rotate it there <coughs> so it um, is one of these um, planes is used for the creation of a new drawing. Okay. The Z value should be lowered. Go, 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 go. go. That is not bad. Okay. Now, this is rotated by the, well, I think, x axis. Let's look. The axis, the x axis, yes. This is the right view. 
and now rotate it. Uh, rotate it using the mouse wheel. Okay, this is the angle that can work. Now the position y move it to this position. And now we can create a drawing on one of these uh, planes. Switch to the part design mode, select one of the planes, this one, create a drawing. And now we uh, draw the, the, how the um, stairway should look like. Look like. On some lines connected together there uh, and there and now we switch to transparent mode and make it symmetrically to the axis. Okay, now we connect the upper part with one line from there to there. And unfortunately, we need to delete this constraint and we are ready. Okay, um, we delete this cube. create a pad out of it. At first, I make it longer so it reaches to the ground. Go to drawing. Okay. big there so we can change um, size okay that's good. that looks good it don't care how long it is um, it will be cut it later um, so it fits the ground plate. Now create a pad, use another size, three millimeters perhaps. Okay, and now this thing um, is to be shifted a bit just by uh, moving the drawing, but it's not that easy if you shift the values. The pad is not created with the mouse wheel, and I did not get it when I was drawing it. I'm looking, well, why does it doesn't it change? But no, it looks good. Okay, now. Create a new uh, box um, to um, cut this thing and make it a bit longer, a little longer. Okay. Yes, that is good. Now.
this one. Okay. Press enter. No, this was true. This one. No. This one. This is the code. Coordinate. Okay. Load part mode again. Create a form. And now I create a box. Just to cut this thing to fit to the ground plane. Okay, this is a box and move it so it is at the correct height. Okay, and change the size. 100, 100, okay, and it has to be moved, minus 50, okay, and now delete this box from this um, stairway, at this edge. Delete it. Yes. Okay. Now this um, thing can be made a new um, form. First the building. Now, now the um, stairway. This is the uh, atomium. Okay. Now create it. Do it. Yeah. We now can create two copies of this stairway um, for the other um, spheres. Okay, first one. One hundred twenty degrees, and the second one. There we are. Two hundred forty degrees. That. Oh, this is, this looks good. Okay. Now it's time to create a ground plane. It is made by a cylinder. The cylinder gets position of 60 millimeters for the first try. And it gets a bigger size, so the radius would be higher and the height of this object three or two millimeters. Okay, radius fifty is a little bit small as you can see. So create it by sixty millimeters. That looks good. And at this point the atomium is almost ready, but now I will try to add some text um, that is drilled into the ground plane. And the text is created with Blender because FreeCAD has no function to add text. Um, so I start Blender and do it on my system by pressing Ctrl R and B. And it takes some time. So you can see the Blender started. Click on it, and that is okay. We delete <coughs> the things inside and create a new text. This text, there it is, and we edit it and name it, um, type in uh, Tomium. Okay, we change the thing to center. There it is, center. And now we create a copy of this text by pressing Shift and D. Not Ctrl C, no, it's Shift and D. Uh, do it, Shift D. And we move this text a little down. And 
edit it. But first we create another size and it is Bocell 1958. Okay. You can change the position of this text if you like. Okay. Now I made some mistakes there, so I create uh, meshes uh, here, but it is wrong. I should create um, first make it uh, make an extrusion. So I will not say much here I, until I press the Control Z key to get back to the text. Control Z Z. There we are back, and now we go into the text and change the extrusion of this text. So where is extrusion? 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 Extrude and one millimeter and this one one millimeter. Now we have text with the height. Now I can create the meshes from this and remove doubles by vertices. Now the vertices. Let's go vertices and go to the top. There, we moved on this. And you'll see now much vertices are removed. In the second text, this number of vertices is much bigger because more letters and more rounded uh, letters. Now, mesh, vertices, remove doubles. Up, okay, there, remove doubles. You can see much vertices are removed. Now go to free cut. I do another bad thing now. I export the thing in Blender as a complete text and it does not function in free cut. <coughs> so I will have to do the second export in Blender but shit happens. So I have the atomium here. Now I go to part design and try to examine how big the text can be or should be. I go to the transparent mode, create a rectangle, draw it. Oh, this looks good. Yeah. I take this side. It's about 53 millimeters. Okay. I know how big the text may be. So I go to this text, switch to vertices mode, and try to look. It is minus 2.3 and plus 2.23, so about 5 millimeters. So I can um, scale this by factor 10. Cursor, OK, that's good. And use scale and by 10. And the second text, too. Edit mode. 10. So now we have the text size to the correct uh, size, the scale to the correct size, and now I make the now I export these two text as complete objects, and FreeCAD cannot create um, uh, solids out of this. Save file, 
Now I'll go to the Fruity print box. But first I use other names. This is A and this is B. Go to 3D print box. There's the export key. Export first text. Export second text. <coughs> and in FreeCAD, I delete the drawing. Okay, that's correct. And go to File Import, STL file. There you have the two texts. We are inside. Dot original. Okay, I move them and then shit happens, they cannot be um, cannot be converted to solids. The first conversion that really functions, which is uh, to create a 3D object out of a mesh. By uh, first I move these um, things by using the mouse wheel. So that is okay. A little bit lower. This one a little bit lower. Okay. Now choose the correct positions for the Z value. First, change it to convert the meshes that functions. Second one, create a form out of it, 0 0.01. And there we are. And now I move them. And it is not possible to create solids out of these things because they are not one object. There are many objects. Every um, single letter, um, every single uh, character is an object and needs to be. Um, Exported as a single object out of Blender. But we have to learn to finally, after getting this here to the correct positions, I try to create. So let's first one okay. Go to there and create a solid and nothing happens. So bad it does not function. So delete this things and go to Blender again. Blender is still open. So switch to Blender and now go to this object, use it in edit mode with P um, key and um, by loose parts. And now I have single characters, second text the same by loose parts. Now name this things so they um, have a good name. The A is OK. Okay, now the T, the O, the M, the 
by u the m second time and two okay the b is correct so the little r the little u little x little e little l1 and little l2 little e little s okay the numbers one nine four h and H. Okay. Now export it the same way as before. And I create a new directory for this export. So I save this thing as in a new directory. That's not the correct button. No. Wrong button. And now I use the new, the correct button, but it is not visible until I click there. There we have the new folder, and I give it a new name. It's Blender file. Oh. Just name it text or something like that. Okay, text. Now it's saved, and I can now export the characters. A T O M P -E U and M export the first B and the other characters A U X E first L second L E Second one and the S. Okay, the numbers one, nine, five, and eight. Okay, we are already inside Blender. Go back to FreeCAD. Now go to Import. Go to the new folder and select all. Well, no, I did not select all. Uh, yeah, it's not so easy. Now the text is imported. I hide most of of the things and as you see there's something missing. I have to import the other characters too. So go to file import. Do it. Do it. Import. It's not that hard to see what is missing. B O everything there. Yes, it's. I have forgotten to select the characters below M2. Okay, now go to open and the complete text are imported. Now these things need to be changed to the form with 0 0.01 as uh, the tolerance and just hide the text already converted so it is much easier to see where to work. Line big A 
big B. E. First M, big one. The first, the second big M, the first little E. The second little E. Just do it. Not that hard to choose the function. So do it. Okay. Okay, there we are. Now the first little L. I did the second one you pick O and be T pick U Yeah, little r, little s, little u, and the little x. These things are created. Let's show what it is. Yes, that looks good. Now we can move this. But first, I create solids. And now you see. Has functions. They are solids. I hide the things there. Now we have text as solids. Okay. Now we can select these solids and create a fusion out of this. Now we have the complete text as a solid fusion. I create a new part of it and copy and now I can move it to the position that I like. Okay. The Y move it, move it, move it, move it. Yes, that looks good. Now the correct Z value has to be chosen. Z axis. Okay, there we are. Now move it lower, 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 lower. lower, lower, lower. Well, it looks a bit strange, but it is correct. Just a graphic error of FreeCAD. Switch to transparent mode. Now we can look if we uh, drill how deep we drill into the ground plane. Okay, I think it is good way. Go to original, now select, correct things. So the ground plane and the text and go to difference, there we are. Okay, it has to calculate 
much, and now the text is built into this ground plane. So we create a new form out of it. Uh, there, okay. Now we have the entrance building the three stairways. This one disabled. These are the three stairways. And now the atomium, and we have everything visible. Oh, this is not much more up. Fusion 18, is it? Try Fusion 18. Yeah, now we have the complete atomium vi visible. Now create a new fusion out of the atomium and the entrance building and the stairways. And we now have the atomium and the ground plane. And can export them to be printed, uh, to be sliced in a slicer. This is the ground plane. This is a complete rename it, Bodenplatte ground plane in English. And this one it's a chromium. Okay. We create a STL file. Go to output. No, oh, it's not a chromium. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. It's open plucker. The second one, this is atomium, so file export to STL. Atomium. Okay, now I start the kit slicer to have a look how it looks, uh, how it can be printed. And inside the kit slicer, you will see that it is um, not looking very good. Both and import it, and you'll see it is not looking very smooth. This can be changed inside Blender by changing uh, one parameter, and I will do it so this sphere will not look that um, rough. So go to uh, Edit, not File, no. To edit and then parameters. Okay, then to part design, form view, this value form is at 0 0.2, change it to a smaller value 0 0.01 by example, and use it. It takes a time. And now these things can be exported another time. So I first delete them in Pisslicer, export, golden platter. So, and export the atomium. Now switch back to KISS slicer after it is exported and get them inside there again, selecting both and OK. Now you see it takes much more time to import them and now they are looking very smooth. So now I've changed the height of the model to 120 millimeters. Um, I go to the profile settings in the slicer. I don't need a raft. It is 
as you can see now, um, it takes some time until I see it. Uh, it's off, okay, it's good. I don't need a raft, but I need support. And this value, it has to be changed to minus one. No, not 85, change it to minus one. And support six, six, uh, 70 degrees, perhaps 80, just test what gets the best, best support. Now, style, it is hollow. I change this to a little infill. Not face now, about 12 to 5 percent. Okay. And now let's slice. It is fastened up here um, with the video edit software. I really would like to have a computer slicing that fast, but it takes some minutes um, to slice this model. But I have a very, very old notebook here from 2011. Okay, there we are. Now, have a look at it. This is a slicing result. You see this support here. It is very uh, small, the su support. Perhaps there should be changed a bit, um, perhaps the model a bit bigger. Now, I'll show the uh, slicing uh, layers. Select the view to show um, only one layer, and you can see it is printable on almost every 3D printer, and this model can also be downloaded at Umagine and Thingiverse. Okay, that was all I wish you. Happy uh, pre-cutting, um, creating such models as this Atomium. And have a nice day. Bye. Thank you.